just got off the boat. Um, I'm going to share something with you guys on this real quick segment here. A lot of you guys have asked me, how do I keep my minnows alive so long? Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to share this with you guys today. A little quick tip, uh, several quick tips actually, that will help you keep your minnows alive longer. I don't know about you guys, uh, but this has happened to me more than uh, and on one occasion. Uh, you go to your favorite bait store, your favorite minnow store, uh, your favorite tackle store, and you, when you get your minnows, and you get three or four dozen, five dozen, six dozen, seven dozen, however many you get, and by the time you get to your spot, half your minnows are gone. They're dead, okay? That's because, number one, you don't have enough water in there. Number two, uh, they've depleted the oxygen, okay? I'm going to show you a really quick, simple way to defeat that, and it doesn't cost you no money, okay? Just using regular household things that you have in your house already, i.e. sports drinks, apple juice bottles, and just by filling them with water and dropping them in the freezer, letting them freeze, that will be a powerhouse of coolness to keep your minnows hopping. All right, listen, get yourself something to drink, relax, call the family in. This is a family channel. You will hear no profanity. And remember, if you like this video, hit that thumbs up button. Share it with everybody. Uh, right below this video, you'll see a red button that says subscribe. Hit that red button, and when you hit that red button, a bell will come up. Make sure you click that bell because all the way we're getting ready for fall when the big girls start getting ready to put on weight, okay? So you don't want to miss no episode that I got coming out. But I'm getting ready to sit down, and I'm going to show you step for step exactly what to do, and it costs you no money just by dropping an item in the freezer for a few hours, Boom, and you're ready to go catch fish, all right? Sit back, relax, thanks for joining us, guys. Hold tight, I'm gonna show you. Very important, you, generally you use this to keep your, your minnows in. This is good for transporting minnows, okay? When you pick them up at the bait store, but when you get to your, your favorite uh, spot, you need to trans use this as transport, but when you get to your spot, you need to get you a five gallon bucket, okay? Why do you want a five gallon bucket? Because when you have a five gallon bucket, it equals more water, which means which equals more oxygen. Okay, so if you got two, three, four, five dozen minnows and you got them in that bucket, they're going to deplete that oxygen really quick. Even if you still have an aerator, okay, they're still, they need more water. More water, more oxygen. That's just plain and simple. Okay, it's very important that you guys remember that. Okay, now an aerator is very important. That is key in order to keeping your minnows alive very longer okay it's very simple all you gotta do is guys is just turn it on and just drop drop the head of it right in your water and that's all you have to do but another trick it's very important for you to have a, 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 a minnow net too all right I know sometimes when I go fishing with some of my buddies my buddies do the same thing they're dipping their hand in the bucket okay every time you dip your arm in this bucket that lowers the water temperature of your water okay that means you're depleting that water of oxygen that water is going to warm up faster and when the water warms up faster the oxygen leaves okay that's just plain and simple okay but so you got to get you a middle net you got to have you a five gallon bucket okay you can any any five gallon bucket would do okay and I generally bend the end of mine okay I bend the end of it because I hook it right here okay that's a neat little trick Okay, you just bend the end of your, your minnow net and you just hook it right on the end. Okay, so you always know where it is. All right, so you know you got to have an aerator, you know you got to have a five gallon bucket, and you know you have to have a minnow net. Those two things are very important. Now, one thing that you have around your house that you never really think about is Powerade, Gatorade, um, apple juice. All of those containers, when you get finished with them, you generally discard them or recycle them, whichever one that you do. But if you take about five or six of them, even seven, depends on how often you go fishing, and you fill them with water, just like this. You fill them with water, okay? And after you fill them, you make sure that the top is screwed on tight and you put them in the freezer. Matter of fact, let me turn this up just a little bit right there. There we go. There we go. Perfect. And you put them in the freezer, okay? And after you go get your minnows, you have the water bucket. Matter of fact, your minnows are in the water bucket, okay? All you do is take one of these frozen containers and just drop it in your minnow bucket. 
That's all you have to do. And that will increase you as hot as the weather is today. If you know you're going to be on the water, if you're fishing from the bank or you're fishing from, from, from the boat, get a bigger one like this one. Okay. And all you have to do when it's frozen, guys, it, listen, this doesn't cost anything. Just fill it with water, screw the type on, top on, drop it in the freezer. And when it's time to go fishing, you take it and drop it in your five gallon bucket. This will extend your minnows for 48 hours. Okay. And listen, when you see it's low and you can feel your bucket warming up, just get another one, pull this one out, drop the other one in. Okay. Little tips like that will help you land more crappie in the boat. Okay. It's just the little things. And that's what we at Cam's Crappy Hole we're designing to do. You can get these at any bait and tackle store. Okay. You get these for transportation. Even if you're coming home and you don't have a five gallon bucket, take this little drink, sports drink bottle, drop it right into the styrofoam bucket. Okay. As long as that temperature is down, you're in good shape. Okay. Yes, your minnows will last with a, with a, a aerator. Okay. They will last with an aerator. But the key thing is lowering, low, lowering that water temperature, okay? You need this, plus you need this, okay? If you keep the water cold, this right here will supply the oxygen. It's sort of like you guys being on the boat. You know how it feels when you're out there on the boat or if you're on land and there ain't no wind whatsoever? But when that breeze comes, you, you relish in the breeze. Ah, oh, man, that feels good. The crappie and the minnows are the same way. When that water cooper temperature cools down, they get active. When your minnows are cool, they get more active. And when the minnows are more active, that catches you more crappie. Just the little things that you do, guys, when you're crappie fishing, that will help you out a great deal. Okay? Let me put this to the side. Okay. Coming up, I want to show you guys. You've heard me mention about our slow death hooks, and you've heard me mention about the regular... Aberdeen hook Okay, this is let me put it up there to the camera so you can see it real good. This is the Aberdeen hook I want you guys to see it real close I don't know if you guys will be able to see that or not, but I want to let you see it. You can see the shank Okay, it's just a straight shank and you can see the gap in that hook. Okay Guys I want to introduce you guys to our slow death Okay, slow death. This is the deadly blood red. Let me see if I can show you the, the difference in the shank between the two you see that? That's that slow death. Look at that shank. Can you guys see that shank? Let me hold it up there to the camera so you can see that shank. You see how it's curved? That's why we call it the slow death crappy hook. Okay? With that evil point. Very, very evil point. Let me see if I can show it to you so you can see that rotating shaft. You guys, can, can you see that rotating shaft? I want to make sure you guys see that really good. Okay? And I also have it in a platinum black. Let me see if I can show it to you. This is it in a platinum black. We have it in a size one aught and a size two for catching crappie. If you want to catch catfish, you know they go sick on catfish as well. If you want to do a shell crackers, you guys will see me using the shell crackers and crappie. If you want it as a bass hook, you can use it as a bass hook for, to hook your minnows as well. So we got a lot of things coming up, guys. All you have to do is go to camscrappyhole.com. Uh, we got new rod and reels that'll be coming out, but. Um, I wanted to pop in here real quick and show you guys that, that uh, slow death crappie hook. It's very important. It's going to be on the market here really, really soon. Uh, I think I'm going to have a feature of it on the website. All you got to do again, just go to camscrappyhole.com. But I wanted to come in here just to show you guys that. It's very important. And listen, when you're on the water, be careful. Make sure you have yourself something to drink. Uh, stay cool out there. And Cam's not going out there. 93, 94 degrees because if it's that temperature on land, it's 100 degrees out there on the water, all right? This is your boy Cam. That's the crappy hole. And until next time, guys, keep those, keep those lines tight, keep the, those hooks wet, and we'll see you on the next turn.